Welcome back everybody. Here's another quick update where we are on the Baron. As you can see, we're starting to put the landing gear back on. But unfortunately, we've run into a problem. If you remember from the last video, I had corrosion on an axle, which we sent out to be replaced. Unfortunately, it looks like the company that did the uh, axle change out doesn't test things when they send them back to you. And as soon as we put hydraulic fluid in the strut, it started leaking out from the axle. So we have to send it back to the company that did it, leaving the aircraft AOG, or I guess more accurately, AOJ. The cockpit door is off the plane. Another project we've taken on is fixing the hinges that you see here that have a lot of play in them. It causes the door to sag and become a little bit harder to open and close. In order to access the inside of the upper hinge, we had to remove the entire panel, which is okay because we have to cut a new panel anyway. As I said in video one, we were getting rid of the Garmin G5 standby instrument and putting in a Garmin GI275. We've also begun a little bit of design work on replacing the old beat up factory upholstery. Here you can see one of our engineers designing a pattern that's going to be used on a quilt for the seats. And from the engineer's computer to the machine itself, here it is, ready to go. Leather has been cut and loaded into the machine. We have a blank canvas to start with. Well, after we let the machine run for quite a while, we wind up with several honeycomb quilted hides that will be incorporated into the seats themselves. If you're interested in following the progress of this Baron, don't forget to like and subscribe.